Um, I am driving the Mazda or the Momsda and I'm going to Siva. So Martin is back in town and I am going to meet him there. Uh, I have things with me that he needs. So he needs to do a little bit of maintenance on Tiny. He uh, wants to replace those clamps that we purchased. Um, we also got a control panel that goes on the, uh, the dash for the HVAC that he's going to swap out. And uh, I brought his grease gun because might as well grease Tiny while you're there. Uh, so I am headed that way right now. And that's what's going on on this Monday morning. Hello, sir. Hi, no, sir. kiss my hand. Ah. <laughs> Where's the truck? Over there, because I didn't unhook it. Okay, you want to go there first? Yes, so we can bring it over here and get tools. All right, should I park right here, though, probably? Unless you want to walk over there. I mean, I can walk over there, I'm fine. You Just, yeah, let me park. It's a tiny dancer! we go to to capture footage for you all. I am risking my life sitting on the back of this catwalk right now. I'm gonna do this first, so. That seat's quite a bit higher than we're used to. <laughs> I think that's dangerous to try to get in and out of when they're all oh, yeah, up in the I mean, air. I don't even know if you could get in it. All right, so. We are replacing this guy because when we bought it, somebody broke it trying to steal the... And this is the fresh air, actually. The face plates, I guess. See? And, uh, That's the fresh air. So we negotiated with the dealer to get us a new one, which took only, what, like three months? <laughs> How long do we have this truck? Well, we've got the... In November, November, right? right for Thanksgiving. And that came literally, what, a week and yeah, a half, two weeks like ago? That. Something like that. Took a long time. It's almost like you know what you're doing. I know, right? Almost. The fresh air button fell on. <laughs> I wonder how much in labor a shop would charge us to do that. Make sure it works. Are you satisfied? So. And yes, if you're wondering, we will be doing a giveaway for this piece right here. Yeah. <laughs> All you gotta do is go to our merch store, buy some merch, and yes, you could win this broken. No, I'm kidding. That's going in the trash. That's a feature we never got to enjoy. I always, I always used to just shove a napkin in there because I didn't like the light yeah, glaring at me at night. <laughs>
Awesome. That was quick and easy. Yeah, these new trucks, some things are really easy to do. That's certainly easier to take apart the dash on this than my truck. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. You want to keep that as a spare just in case? Oh. <laughs> you can throw it under the sleeper. I guess. fit in there. I'll have to go in my little bin under the sleeper. Alright, let's go back here and put it in the bin under the sleeper. Move their GPS. The what? Well, I mean, I can just set it back here too. Okay, so I got this box and that box holds parts. So next on the list is uh, that pipe that broke. Um, the clamps on it suck and it makes soot everywhere. So we got better new and improved clamps that Martin's going to put on because we do not like a sooty engine. Not only do I not like sooty engine, it causes fuel economy loss. An exhaust leak essentially. And fuel economy loss means less money at the end of the day in my pocket. Not your pocket, my pocket. So gosh darn it, we ran out of grease. Um, I offered to bring grease too. I don't know if we had any at home though, so maybe it wouldn't have mattered, but we're here over at the O'Reilly's, which thankfully is just basically around the corner, uh, getting some grease. And I think we're gonna go get us some lunch too, cause I'm hungry, I haven't eaten today. Damn it, I used the wrong card. When will you learn? Which car did you use? My car. Our bank account, not the business one. Well, we'll just reimburse ourselves since we're employees. Give me. Oh. That's my receipt hey guys, file. Hey guys. So I went to fire up Tiny uh, to turn the wheel for Martin and Tiny was starting kind of oddly. Uh, almost like the batteries were trying to die. Uh, so Martin got to looking at it. There seems to be some corrosion. Uh, we're hoping that it's just maybe that's kind of causing the problem. So we're going to clean that off and I guess try to start again and see if it's still doing it. If Tiny be acting a fool. I'm 
So that seemed to have done the trick, uh, cleaning off the corrosion, and uh, Tiny is starting much, much better now. So glad that we uh, discovered that though before the drivers got in there and they had to deal with that. You guys see how bad that step deck is there or over that middle axle? Holy crap. It's like the deck is broken. He's from Chicago. He not care. He hold on. When we moved to Wyoming. So that's why we're not working on the truck. It's Wednesday. My wife's going to work today. Well, unless she wants me to drive for her. I mean, I'm open to it. You know, I like trucking. It's cold. Got the lesbian coat out again. I'm gonna put these seats on this truck. And then I gotta check, there's a fuel leak underneath the sleeper where the splitter valve is. Um, I might give it a grease in. And I gotta tighten up the quarter fenders still a little bit more. And uh, what else was there? I need to hook up some more lights. Like these. They're wired in for turn signals. But I don't have the power running into them to run the uh, running light yet, and I'd like to do that. But in order to do that on this truck, I'd like to go in through here or through there, which it's not a problem. But on the other side, it is because it doesn't have a grommet. And for the life of me, I can't fish it through there. So we'll try, though. If we can do it, we will. Because really, if I can just fish the wire through there, I can have those wired up because I could just run, in, run down in there and splice them in. It should be good to go. Maybe we'll give it a bath too. I don't know. I don't know if there'll be enough time. But let's get these seats in. What are you guys doing here in my bathroom? I'm just being silly. Uh, today we are in my bathroom. Yeah, we are. Uh, don't you love the decor? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday is dispatch day around these parts. Uh, our team truck has already gone out for the day. Uh, unfortunately for them, they are having to go the southern route and uh, well, that just adds time. But uh, the reason being, uh, apparently drivers had to act a fool up on Donner overnight and collide with each other. Uh, so the road has been closed for literally most of the night and so far all the morning. So we sent them down south. As for me, I don't go out till this evening. Usually the trailers are set to close the doors at 11. Um, but they've been getting them ready anywhere between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. So I'm gonna probably aim to get there around 6. Hopefully we'll be ready. But as far as if my highway choice will be ready, I don't know. So I'm hoping that it will be. I don't like riding the southern route. It's, um, well, it adds time. It's boring. I don't like it. I'd rather just go, you know, the more efficient direct route. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, as the day goes on again, I have like literally many, many hours until it's time for me to even worry about leaving. So, uh, as for right now, I am getting myself ready for the day 
and I'm going to go outside. I'm going to help Martin work on Tyler. Uh, right now he's out there putting in the seats. I know he's got some other little lists, items to take care of. Yes, we have a list for the truck because older truck, new truck to us. There's a lot of things we got to just get down, get taken care of. Uh, one day the list will go away. But for right now, he's out there working on that. I'm going to go outside and help him um, out, but I'm going to install some new LED lights that we purchased. Uh, the ones that are in there are LEDs, but I don't like them. Uh, they plug in old school style, like your incandescent bulb uh, plug in. Uh, the problem with that is the connection is just kind of, it sucks. So when you hit bumps, they flicker and they do all kinds of stupid stuff. And I just feel like they could be a lot better. So we really like the lights that are on fancy. Uh, they are a sealed beam LED aftermarket situation. So I purchased essentially that for my truck. Uh, so I'm gonna pop those in today. Give them a try this week, see if I like them. Uh, if I don't like them, I have another plan which involves going to our favorite wrecking yard and purchasing a pair of single, or I'm sorry, double squares. I wanna get a pair of the double square headlights and we'll shave the corners off. Uh, the turn signals, indicators, whatever. There'll be some shaving involved. But we're gonna give it a try here with the single rounds because I have sentimental value to those, as you all know. Um, and we'll see if we can get some headlights that we're happy with. Cause right now, even though the brightness is good and whatnot, it's just the functionality of them is far from good. So I'm gonna be working on that. Um, give Martin a hand with whatever else he needs me to help with. Uh, then I'll be probably taking a nap uh, so I can go <laughs> to work and drive all night long. And yes, if you're wondering my hair, I did not cut it off. I wear extensions. Um, I just decided to take them out. Um, I've been wearing them literally for months on end and they're kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna rock the shorter natural hair right now uh, as far as if I'll put them back on. Probably, I, I, I do a lot of my hair for those of you that wonder. I know a lot of people like love the green in the hair. Some people were like, oh my God, it's not your thing deal with it. I change my hair literally all the time. When we started this channel, my hair was actually black, if you can believe it. But anyway, this channel's not about Alice and her hair. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. But I'm going to go outside and give Martin a hand. So I'll meet you guys out there. for buying those for me. Uh, They're gonna be so nice to ride on tonight. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna, um, here they are. I was trying to find the headlights to show you guys. Let me show you guys these headlights. All right. Ta-da! There we go. So the problem with a lot of these aftermarket LED lights is they look really stupid. And <laughs> for lack of a better term, I don't want lights that have all these different circles and things. So this was like really like 
the cleanest pair uh, as far as aesthetically clean look that I could find. Um, so they have the high beam and the low beam. I'm not sure which one's which, but uh, we'll figure it out. But I like them because they don't have halo lights. They don't have all these little circles everywhere. Um, if you've ever looked on Amazon for aftermarket lights, you know what I'm talking about. That is still waiting to go into that. Hopefully this week we will have better weather so Martin can actually put this sucker together and we can sell it. Send it on down the road. Gee whiz, what are you trying to do? You're gonna poke my eye out with that thing. Gee whiz. What the crap? Why can't I pick this up? <laughs> yeah, they're under tension. High beam, low beam, cool. So Martin's underneath uh, the truck here working on tightening up uh, some valve or something that the former owners replaced yeah. or a shop. Well, they replaced a fitting. They replaced, there's a 90, I, I don't know if they replaced it or who replaced it, but it's been replaced, it was loose. And then, uh, the uh, um, there's a splitter, of, so there's a valve. I believe this would be the return. No, I think this is the feed. This is where it feeds fuel to the truck. I want to say because it's a smaller line, or maybe it's a return. I don't know. I can't tell. Oh but my god, you ruined your hat. That's a work hat. The valve, I think, might need to be replaced because it's leaking fuel. But I think it's not a huge leak, it's a seep in. And it's got four little bolts on it, so I tighten it up, and I want to see if it's going to help. So I'm going to have you go fire it up again and see if it quit. If it didn't quit, then we're going to have to replace it here. All right, you ready? So last week, my daughter Katie, who also has her CDL, uh, she got stuck. Um, on I-5 for a good day and a half, maybe even two days. Uh, they shut down the highway and she was there at the weed rest area in California, um, just had to wait it out. She had no options. And uh, because she was at the rest area, she didn't have options to go get a lot of food. So she had to literally survive on snacks for the time that she was shut down there for. Uh, that was a good reminder for me to let her know that she should go out and purchase some canned goods to keep in the truck and for myself as well. So we have canned goods inside of Fancy, but I did not purchase any for this truck because it just completely, like, it spaced my mind because we have so many other things going. Uh, but with her misfortune last week, I made it a point to run to the store and purchase four cans of uh, soup and chili uh, to have in the truck for emergency situations only. So I don't usually like eating this stuff. I don't like super processed foods. I don't like really salty foods. 
these have a lot of sodium in them. It's like, I was really surprised. We bought the low sodium versions, but yeah, if you ever look at a label, oh my God. Anyway, they're here for emergencies. Hopefully I'll never have to subject myself to actually eating these, but in the event I do, I got technically four days worth of food to carry me over because one of these, I could last on it all day long. So um, if you're a driver and you drive anywhere where there's like adverse conditions in the winter, make sure to have some canned goods on you because you never know if you're gonna get shut down. And just because it's California doesn't mean that they don't shut down roads. And when they shut them down, sometimes it can be for days as my daughter discovered last week when she was shut down for about two days. So I'm gonna put these away and keep on with what I gotta do on the list. All right, so what's left on our list here? Just finishing greasing it up. Might wash it, I don't know. Let's see if there'll be enough time. It's a little windy. It's pretty dirty. It is filthy. I mean, I guess I could always stop at the beacon too since we got the account. That could, maybe, because Donner will probably be nasty. Got me some emblem skins, guys. They look pretty good. They look pretty good. The headlights, they, they don't look bad. They kind of, they, I just, it's hard to get used to new things, but they're, they're not bad. And uh, yeah, I got the emblem skin over here too. And one obviously on the other side as well. They look pretty good. I like them. What do you guys think? So we are in our little town running some errands right now. Martin need to get uh, some connectors, I think he said. I'm gonna go into a grocery outlet here and buy some sour cream because I decided I want to have baked potatoes in the truck for dinner this week. Hey guys, so I'm supposed to be napping right now, but I'm not because I'm talking to you guys. Um, trailer's going to be ready uh, between 7 and 8. No, 8 and 9. 8 and 9. I'm planning to be there between 7 and 8. That's it, yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna go eat some dinner. Martin made fried rice. I'm gonna gather up my last things I need to gather. And I'm gonna go to work. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that Martin finished up on the truck too. But you gotta see that on the next episode. Bye. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the back, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex zone.